Hello and welcome to another episode of me painting again. Oh yeah, we're painting again. And I have a few colours on, some titanium white, some uh, a little bit of sap green. Not sure if I'm going to use it actually, I just put it on. Um, I might need it. Some uh, burnt umber, ultramarine blue, alizarin crimson and yellow ochre. Um, just a few colours. Don't really need any more I don't think. If I do. I'll get it. <laughs> so I'm um, doing a bit of a seascape. I was uh, at the coast, and uh, as I, as most painters do, we get our camera out and we uh, start taking pictures. And uh, getting some titanium white in my blue, and a bit of yellow in there as well. So I'm trying to make the uh, Greeny bluish sky. Oh, that looks nice. That looks really nice actually. A bit more white in it, and I think it's sort of a grey blue. Maybe that's a bit more blue than that. A bit more yellow. Hmm, that looks quite nice. I'm trying to balance it. Trying to balance this colour to what I can see. Um, so I'll, I really enjoy painting the sea. <laughs> so I love going to the seaside, of course. Um, so I just need to uh, need to think this through. Actually, <laughs> I've just set myself up because I really wanted to get painting, and now I'm thinking, oh, I really should be thinking this through, but. Let's, let's just go for it. Uh, maybe I don't need to think too much. <laughs> there is a uh, sort of an angle like this. And some blues, and then underneath, there's almost uh, the colour of this paper, but it's a bit browner, I would say. Anyway. We'll get this started. I quite enjoy painting with acrylic to be honest. Uh, I didn't used to because I was always an oils person. But then uh, the more I painted outside with uh, other media like gouache, the more I've kind of got used to uh, messing around with acrylic as well. I just sprayed my paints by the way, just so uh, they. Uh, dry out too much. So I'm making a uh, yellow ochre blue as well. Well, yellow ochre and ultramarine blue. So I think that's about what the other colour is. This sort of sandy sea colour. Something like that. I'll put it on anyway. I can always lighten it or darken it. I think we're about there though. Using that sort of rock in motion and uh, pulling some of this together. Quite a, uh, a dull colour as well. I need some uh, burnt umber in this. I think that will get it. A little bit of burnt umber in with that yellow, and I can pull some of that colour into this area. You want to be looking at the uh, shapes in the sea. When you paint in the sea, you really want to get them sort of motions, and you, you sort of could do that with your brush strokes. Get those motions. Think of the sea. Try and become the sea. <laughs> become the 
coming the sea. So I'm going to throw some of this in, this blue, in with my dark. So I've got some bit umber, and some of the blue, and some of the yellows in there. I'm making a dark because I want my got a bit of a shadow side on the water, and then I can use the light uh, to go on top of that. Some of it's more of a ochery colour, some of it isn't. It's all uh, different. Some of it's really dark as well. Some really, really dark areas. Much darker than that. Get some real, a lot of blue and brown on the brush get those really dark areas and what we can do is paint over paint over the top mm, here we go it's looking quite nice I'll hold it like that every now and then just so you can see it. Um, just throwing more colour in as we go, just so we can capture some of this. Yeah, I don't really have a, a method anymore. <laughs> I used to be all about methods to paint. I used to always think about the method. Now I just throw the paint on and uh, and I just really enjoy myself. The, fr the freedom of painting. I just enjoy it. I don't have any real... Yeah, there's no method anymore. It's just put paint on. Just put paint on that canvas and have fun with it. So I'm going to grab a little bit of red in with my colour, in with my blue, make a sort of a greyish colour. And then I can use that for this, uh, the ground, for the beach area. It might be a bit too red actually. There's a bit more blue in it I think. I'm sort of going to use my thing, finger just to blend it together a little bit. Apologise for the uh, the glare on the paint while it's drying. It kind of glares a little bit back. Blues and reds. You get a nice grey. And I'm kind of uh, going up this part of the wave as well. Going up it. And then going flat down here. Bit of the brown and yellow. changes back here 
Yeah, we need to think about the uh, what goes in the sea as well. So we want that to be. Hmm. <laughs> Wasn't really looking at that actually. So let's uh, build this sea up a little bit. Some more yellow makes sort of a greyish colour. A bit of brown in it. Adding a bit more colour on there. Okay, so it didn't look like much yet, <laughs> but honestly, this is going to look like waves, I, I hope anyway, but if it doesn't, well, we've had fun splashing the paint around. We've got things going, just washing my brush there. So I need um, I need to put in the the wave break basically. There's a wave break along there, so I need to put that in. So I'm just going to use a bit of blue and a little bit of brown, blue and brown, and it's uh, about oh, the biggest bit about there. It's, you can't really see it and then there's a uh, piece there and then you can sort of see it there and there's a piece there a piece there about anyway and then there and then there and then there so there and then that's all right and we don't mind if they don't get seen because the waves are out in front of them a little bit just do a bird's eye view <laughs> just have a look from above because sometimes when you're painting and sat down you don't quite see it so I think this needs 
Grabbing some grabbing some green and yellow because it's quite yellowy green there. I might switch brushes now. I go for something a little bit smaller. This is a bit smaller. The first one I was using was just a uh, a three quarter inch brush. Now I've gone for a half inch. I think that's what this is. Maybe. <laughs> Who knows? It's all rubbed off now. I've used it so many times. Um, I'm going to start building up the light. I think because you put all this color in and then. Uh, <laughs> Nothing really happens quite yet until you start putting the light in and uh, so I'm just going to spray my paints. I'll get some of this white there. Tiny bit of this yellowy blue colour. Yellowy yellowy blue and white and that gives us an off white see what I don't want to do is go too bright too soon I'm going to keep my off whites to start with so let's get started Let's have some fun <laughs> and start putting in some nice highlights. So, whoops, <laughs> I just dropped my uh, water thing. So, I think everything is quite dry now. Yeah, it's quite dry. So, I can start bringing up some of the water. use my finger to stretch it so I want it to go land and then up like that and then over so that I can create a nice thin line by using my finger and I can create the shape as well like that whoops <laughs> didn't want to do that mind doesn't really matter that'll uh, vanish eventually um, so then we need to do a few more of those like there's a bit that goes along here and that sort of falls over there in that a little bit and then I'm gonna bring it over a bit I kind of want a duller color for the next bit mm, let's do this as well for that bit there <laughs> and uh, I want to I want a duller bluey grey. So I'm going to take my white straight into this bluey grey colour and make a duller, a duller light. Because I want that over here coming down there. Use my finger just to stretch that a bit. Just 
tapping and allowing that to allowing that shape there. Sometimes you accidentally get a really nice shape, <laughs> and uh, that's when to you leave them in. You get some of those. Got a bit more blue in that. Any of the areas you want to dull a little bit. I just use my finger and just sort of get rid of them a little bit like that. There's quite a little bit of a splashing going on there. Here yeah, there is as well. So it comes back there. If you find yourself making noises, <laughs> <laughs> it is uh, just one of those things that we do. When you're painting, you start making funny noises, acting it out, aren't you? That's what it is. As painters, we act it out. I just noticed I got that angle a bit weird there, so I'm going to uh, rectify that bit there. So you can change things as you go. Doesn't matter. I think the one thing that I like about painting is the fact that you can do that. I'm going to add a little bit of atmosphere in this background, but to be honest, I don't think I'll do a great deal because it is in the background. I'll just put a little bit of uh, something going on. Just sort of uh, missed it a little bit because I don't want it to be popping out too much. So I just missed it a bit. So there we go, I'll do. Remember, you can always change things, make things a bit more stronger if you want. I'm going to get a bit more of this uh, yellowy, bluey colour. Bit of ultramarine blue, a bit of uh, yellow ochre. this uh, yellowy blue in there. Start building up the colours a bit. I mean a yellowy brown I should say. That sort of sandy colour. Yellow ochre and a little bit of the uh, burnt umber. Works quite nice actually. Especially for these sort of sandy beaches English coast get a lot of uh, churned up sandy areas I 
when you can see into the water as well in places you get all these different colors in there which I really like actually all these different shades browns yellows and over here it's kind of it's really breaking here pouring down there just sort of dotting my brush thinking about the way it's flowing over kind of goes under and then comes down like that sort of thing goes like that over like that there and it comes down so I, I tend to uh, set my camera onto like a sports mode so I can see everything it's just the way I like doing it so I can see what's going on in the waves and stuff you don't have to do it exactly like that when you paint it sort of comes out like that so we're starting to get somewhere <laughs> slowly but surely I'm gonna wash my brush so now I'm gonna pick out the really light bits and I'm gonna I want a bit of the white I want white in, in with my yellow ochre. White, titanium white and yellow ochre. Here we go. Okay. So we've got some really white light hitting there. And there. Sort of tapping in places as well, and then using my finger to rub areas out see light going there and in that bit there loads of light here I'm going to use my finger actually just to give that a little bit of a of motion <laughs> God, this is fun, isn't it? A splashing. Lots of movement in here as well. We can get that a bit better now. So 
this is when uh, it gets a bit more fun because you can start using more light in places. Like this here, it sort of goes. Using the uh, dry, as the paint dries a bit, you can just scrape it across as well, and you lose a little bit of paint. You can get get some nice little movements. And here, there's a little bit of a. <laughs> Bit of a thing there. We could do with dulling some of this. I mean lightening some of this, I should say. As I'm doing that, I mean lightening a little bit. Same with this area. Don't want that so dark. I mean, I like it dark because it brings that out. But I want it a little bit lighter. Using my finger just to soften that a little bit. Some places that's it's got some nice bits. Okay. Quite like that. Uh, now I'm going to use. A smaller brush. I'm going to add a few details. Like this again. This needs bringing out again. So it goes one, two, and then that goes like that. There's a few little dots in that as well. Won't do too much in that bit actually. And then here as well, it goes sort of. some some more detail into it if I want to in areas maybe I want the eye to go here the most so I can really detail this bit of wave where it crashes there bringing the eye into an area is to either use light and dark to bring the eye in. If you want areas that you want to stand out, you just do that bit more detail or that bit more light in the area. Like in, in this area here where I've started to go a little bit lighter. So the eye should effectively now go around this area where it's quite light and and fun. <laughs> I like this line here actually, I really do. I want to have a leading to this as well. 
So I can uh, do that and then something like that. There's quite a lot more there that I need to put in to be honest. It's a bit more of this. Something like that, and then uh, maybe a uh, there, and then a uh, bit there, and then I uh, need a little bit here as well, a little bit of that. Uh, Getting some of these sort of foamy areas as well. I'm trying not to overdo things, I just want to really get the feel of the place at the same time. This is a another thing that I realised when painting is it's very easy to overdo a painting. <laughs> I say that from experience. And I still do it to be honest. just want to give some of this a bit more attention I'm looking at areas and I'm thinking maybe that needs to be softened along here just softening it a little bit just putting on a little bit of paint and then rubbing it off it kind of I don't know if you could see that actually it just softened it it's a bit distant but softening areas I'll show you on this so if you wanted that to go backwards you could pick up a little bit of light colour a little bit of say sky colour and just put it over and then tap it with your finger it starts to vanish and softens see how you can fade it away a little bit I hope that showed I know it's only a small area of the canvas but I hope that showed so now looking at it um, I could do some flat kind of strokes along here just to flatten that off. I mean it does look flat to be honest but I just want to put some to give that indication that this is flat so that is flat and this is I find a few lines can help uh, create that illusion and uh, go I think that looks pretty good actually it's a nice sketch 
You can miss, take that off. I'll just take that off to the edge there. Maybe have a little bit of blue as well. Just take it off to the edge of the page. And I might for fun. <laughs> just for my own fun. Put a little seagull back here going. And maybe maybe one stood on there. Yeah, I just touch them. To just touch my finger on the paint, and it pulls some of the paint away, and you get sort of a, a shape. Well, there we go. I had quite a lot of fun doing that actually. There's a bit of a, uh, a sketch of the sea, a scene that I saw and uh, took a photo of, and I thought that'd be a fun one to do, and I uh, really enjoyed it actually. Is there anything? <laughs> I know, we always see more, don't we? I was talking about overdoing, but anyway, <laughs> maybe I can show it. But then uh, I could just see, like, maybe there's some areas that you can see below there. But you can put in all these kind of details, really. Oh, actually, there's this I could do as well. Just to bring that out. I accidentally just messed that up. <laughs> so I'm right there. I can put some white on the top. Just adds a bit of dark there, and then that pops that up a little bit more, which I quite like now. Yeah, so I'm quite happy with that. It's a nice uh, bit of movement of the sea. It's uh, enjoyable to paint. I just love painting the sea. You could spend ages doing it, couldn't you? Really could. Just do a bit more and a bit more. <laughs> So I think I'll call that one finished anyway. I hope you enjoyed watching this uh, little sketch uh, using acrylic paint. Uh, oh, there is one thing I want to do. <laughs> I'm almost going to finish, almost. I want a, uh, a lighter green on this. lightly run my finger across it just brings it together a little bit um, yeah and I think I'll call that one finished thanks very much for watching this one just use my finger to put some shape in there okay Right, I've finished. <laughs> so thanks very much for watching this one. I hope you enjoyed it and it gave you an idea of what you could do with your paints and a few colours. And I'll see you at another one. Cheers, bye.